Hola, buenos días, buenas tardes, and buenas noches. Welcome to Learn Spanish World with Mr. Briggs. That's right, that's me, I'm Mr. Briggs. I'm a fully qualified registered Spanish teacher, and I upload videos every week. Today, I'm bringing you a practical expression. Have you ever wondered how to say little by little in Spanish? If you want to know how to use this expression, stay tuned till the very end of the video. But before we commence today, I wanted you to click the red button and subscribe to my channel. Can you believe we already 63,000 subscribers? Thank you so much for your support. Muchas gracias por suscribirte. Thank you very much for subscribing. You make it possible that I can continue uploading new videos. Okay, without wasting any more time, let's move on and start learning how to say little by little in Spanish. Little by little in Spanish is poco a poco. Escucha. Poco a poco. Obviously, you want to sound natural, so we wouldn't talk to someone like this. Poco a poco. It would sound almost like an automaton. So your goal is to become fluent and to sound natural in Spanish. So what we do, just like we do in English, we tend to join the words together. So instead of saying poco a poco, we say poco a poco. Poco a poco. Listen carefully. Poco a poco. One more time. Poco a poco. Can you say that? I know it can be a little bit tricky, but keep practicing. Eventually, you will memorize it. It's pretty much when you learn the guitar, you have to have dexterity and muscle memory. In a way, it's similar with our tongue. It's difficult in the beginning, but in the end, you can actually master it. Poco a poco. One more time. Poco a poco. Little by little. Okay, let's see a few interesting practical expressions where we can use Poco a poco. Look back a few years, weeks, or even months ago when you first started learning Spanish and you knew a few words here and there. Hola, buenos dias, mucho gusto, and so on. As time goes by, you start developing a repertoire of words and expressions. So if you wanted to say, little by little, I'm going to learn Spanish, you would say, poco a poco. Voy a aprender español. Una vez más. I'll say it very despacito, very slowly. Poco a poco voy a aprender español. Now, native speakers like myself, we tend to join the words together. So I would say, poco a poco voy a aprender español. That makes it sound a little bit more natural. And it takes a bit of practice, a bit of time, but you can get it right. If it's difficult, just go one word at a time. Poco a poco voy a aprender español. Poco a poco voy a aprender español. That's right. We join the A and the word aprender together. So instead of saying a aprender, we say a aprender español. Poco a poco voy a aprender español. Excelente. Let's move on. Another common expression is the expression little by little I realized. Poco a poco me percaté. Now me percaté means I realized, but it's a little bit more polished. Poco a poco me percaté. Most people tend to say, poco a poco me di cuenta. You can say me di cuenta. Me di cuenta is extremely common. You can use that expression if you want. There's no problems with that. But if you want to sound a little bit more polished, a little bit more sophisticated, try saying, poco a poco me percaté. Yes. Little by little, you will understand. If you want to say that in Spanish, you'd have to say, poco a poco entenderás. That means, little by little, you will understand. Poco a poco entenderás. And yes, you can also say, poco a poco comprenderás. It has exactly the same meaning. It conveys exactly the same idea. 
Oh, romance and love. I'm pretty sure you must have fallen in love once. Come on, don't lie. <laughs> Almost everyone has. Have you ever looked back and thought to yourself, wow, little by little, I fell in love. How romantic. If you wanted to say that in Spanish, you would have to say, poco a poco, me enamoré. See how I tend to join the words together? Uh, you can practice word by word by saying, poco a poco, me enamoré. But eventually, you have to make an effort and try to sound a bit more natural. Poco a poco, can you say that? Poco a poco, me enamoré. And when you say me enamoré, you tend to join both words together. Me enamoré. Poco a poco, me enamoré. Poco a poco, me enamoré. That's right. You almost got it. One more time. Poco a poco, me enamoré. Ah, okay, next one. You know what? I've been learning Spanish for five years. Little by little, I improved. Poco a poco, mejoré. Poco a poco, mejoré. That means little by little, I improved. And you are improving. Don't give up. No te rindas. The next one is very dramatic. Little by little, I understood the truth. If you want to say that in Spanish, you would have to say, poco a poco, comprendí la verdad. La verdad means the truth. Poco a poco, comprendí la verdad. You can also say, entendí la verdad. It means exactly the same thing. I actually added on top of comprendí in case you already knew that word in that way. You don't get confused. They have exactly the same meaning. Okay, if for some reason you're struggling with this, don't panic. Remember, this is a skill uh, like any other skill, learning a language. It takes time and effort. Uh, and you practice. You need to practice a lot. So let's practice for the last time. Repeat after me. Poco a poco. One more time. Poco a poco. Now you want to sound like a native? Escúchame. Escúchame. Listen to me. Poco a poco. One more time. Poco a poco. Poco a poco. Like the song. Poco a poco. So see if you can practice this a few times today. Poco a poco. One more time. Poco a poco. Little by little. Poco a poco. Wow. You sound fantastic. You sound like a native speaker of Spanish. Poco a poco. Fantastico. Okay. Before we finish today, I'm going to speak in Spanish for my more advanced students. So we're going to put on our Spanish cap. Muy bien. Ahora estoy hablando español. Poco a poco me vas a comprender. Tenemos que practicar español todos los días. Y así, poco a poco, mejorará tu español. Fantastic, my dear amigos. Thank you so much once again for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe and check my other videos. I have more than 450 videos. Oh, I'm waiting because I got one more week to go at my workplace. We're finishing the school semester one for this year. And after that, I'm going to have two weeks of well-deserved holidays. But I will be producing videos because I really enjoy creating content for you. I hope to see you very soon. I'm going to be traveling around the state of Victoria and I want to make a few videos to share with you in order to help you Spanish. I will be testing a new format of video. So I'll show you around a little bit at the same time as we learn Spanish together. So stay tuned, new format coming up very soon. Muy bien amigos, cuídate. I hope to see you next time and see you soon. Adios, chao, chao.